hello guys today we're going to see about what is ping ping command uh, is used to troubleshoot and diagnose network connectivity issues so it basically reports the round trip time for the messages sent from the source to the destination let's see how does the ping works ping command sends a 32 byte icmp packet from host a to host b and it will wait for the host b to be responded with 32 byte packet to host a If connectivity is successful, then overall round trip time is printed. If not, the uh, reason for failure, such as packet loss, timeout, connectivity errors, like this, it will print. So, guys, let's see how to execute the ping command. So, you can invoke the ping command in command prompt as follows. So, we have to type uh, ping ip or domain. So, let's say my domain name is gcc dot com. Then, what I will do is I will pass it ping gcc dot com. So guys, when I pass ping gcc dot com, it will be respond with the output as shown in the screen. So guys, let's take a look at what ping output tells us. So first one is time. It it is reporting a round trip time. So it is a time taken by the packet to reach from source to destination and responded back to the source. So guys, next will be TTL. So TTL is nothing but it's a time to live, which means it is the amount of time or ops. So it can vary from zero to two fifty five depending upon the host operating system. So when a packet is sent across the internet, there is a chance that packet passes from the router and the packet will be sent until the user interrupt this command. So because of this, only packets are designed with an expiration called time to live. So guys, next let's say about the ping statistics. So in ping statistics, it reports packet sent and packet received and packet loss. So in packet sent means it will report about how many times the packet has been sent from host to destination. So here you can see that sent is equal to four. So packet is sent four times. Similarly, packet received. It means how many number of time packet has been uh, received from destination to host. So here it is four times the packet has been received. Guys, next is packet loss. So it means the uh, number of packet failed to reach the destination. So here from the source the packet has been sent four times, and at the destination also you can notice that uh, it has been received four times. So the packet loss will be zero percent. So next we will see about what is reported in approximate round trip times. So first is minimum. Your uh, minimum means nothing but uh, minimum time to get a response, and the response will be in milliseconds. Here you can notice that it is uh, reported as one fifty five milliseconds, and second will be the maximum. So maximum means maximum time to get a response. Here also the response will be reported in milliseconds only. So here you can notice that uh, maximum response time is one sixty five milliseconds. So last one is average. Average means average time to get a response. Here also the response will be reported in milliseconds. So here you can notice that average response time is one fifty eight milliseconds. So next we will see what is the ping default TTL value. So guys, generally ping command TTL value can vary from operating system to operating system. So guys, you can see Linux or Unix value can be sixty four, and Windows value can be one twenty eight, and Solaris or AIX can be two fifty four. So guys, let's see what are the commonly used ping command. If I want to send five echo request to the domain gcc dot com, then you can issue the following command. So when I passed the command, it was printing the following message in the console. So here you can notice that uh, five times the ping request has been sent, and second commonly used command is to ping the specified host until it is stopped. So if I want to send request to specified host, let's say I want to send request to gcc dot com until it is manually stopped, then I can issue the command like. Ping t gcc dot com. So guys, there are many commands which can be passed along with the ping. So if you want to know about all those commands, then you can refer to the link given in the description. So guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned with us.